Okay guys, um, this is a little rant, so if you don't like rants, just skip it. It's about these little bingo scratch tickets that come in the mail. Um, if you have a wife, take the phone away from her from the day for the day. <laughs> anyway, my wife got excited. She scratched this ticket. Oh, could win a laptop computer and all this other stuff. Yeah, okay. So I played along with it. She called me at work. I said, no, I don't think you're going to get anything. You're going to win the shower head. Because uh, in the ticket it says they have to give you the a prize and they go by the correspondent thing anyway so we got a shower head out of it. we had to listen to a salesman for an hour and he was selling an overpriced reverse osmosis system um, now he did a couple of tests that I was concerned about um, I wish I had the camera on to see this it was a big scam I think um, but the biggest scam of all was the price of the water system he wanted with the water softener he was going to save us $3,900. Oh, if you sign right now, I'll save you $3,900. This is a once-in-a-lifetime offer. And if you skip this, I can't give you the offer anymore. Well, if you're so honest and this was a good deal, I told him, you let me think about this for a week so I can shop around and get the best price. No, you had to sign right now. Well, that just throws red flags up right away. Never trust a car salesman, shoe salesman, a salesman of any type because they're working on commission. And especially in these times right now, they're trying to get a sucker to sign these things, papers. And uh, I'll show you what I mean in a second. Um, so he wanted, uh, I think, oh, you'll say $3,900. I can't remember what the total was. It's was $5,900 for a water softener and a reverse osmosis system. Well, I got lucky and I said to the wife, she was mad at me. I said, trust me for a second. Now, here's the same reverse osmosis system he was trying to sell me with a gold seal of... Uh, this certified water quality seal. Oh, only so many have. Okay, this is the same system. Okay, let's go in here. Um, look, it starts at two ninety nine. Okay, so we'll go. We'll go to the higher end one. Um, we're not going to go into the commercial. This way, he was trying to sell me right here. Um, low pressure system right here. Okay, they have it on sale. Even he had to pay the five hundred twenty five dollars. Okay, that's still. And let's say they paid somebody five hundred dollars to put it in my house. That's still five thousand dollars that they're making off of me. Even if, okay, let's say they put the water softener in there. Okay, that could be another whatever. I didn't look that one up. They're still gonna make three or four thousand dollars off me. Three grand. Let's say that's still terrible. That is terrible. It's friggin' crooks. It's like the oil tank uh, gimmick they got going years ago. My mom had to have it replaced. The first estimate was. Fifteen hundred dollars, and I said, "Mom, don't sign any papers. There's got to be a cheaper price around." So, so we found another company. It was twelve hundred dollars. Oh well, well, you saved. Mom was going to sign on that one, um, and I said not to. So I found somebody who do for seven hundred dollars, um, and she made the mistake of paying him half the money, and he skipped out on me. So I found another buddy. Um, you have to have a license to buy an oil tank in Canada. So. I found another buddy. They sold me all the hardware, everything for two hundred dollars. I think it was under two hundred fifty dollars, around that two hundred dollar mark. Um, that's a terrible markup. I can't believe it. It only took me four hours to put it in, um, and a little bit of muscle to take it out. It's just terrible. There's you guys got to watch out. There's so many crooks out here. So if you get one of these scratch bingo tickets in your mail, and a big bald-headed Russian guy comes in your house. Just throw them out right away. I know my water. We need water softener. We have one in the basement. We should have some kind of dripping water filtration system here because the water is full of sulfur and whatever whatever else. Now the one test he did. Now it, it, what he brought his own water. It was in a jug, and not once did he drink it. So I don't know what it was. Water was something in it. I don't know. One of the tests was that he put a light in his water. Uh, electrode. It, it had a Christmas tree light bulb on the end. It was a, a tube and it had two electrodes coming down. He put that in his, in his glass of water, plugged into the wall, and the light didn't come on. Um, I don't know how this is a scam, but his glass of water, the level wasn't the same as the rest of them, but anyway. So he put it in my glass of water, the light came on. Put it in our hot water glass, it came on. Put it in the bot bottled water, the light came on. Now, I've never seen water tested like this before. Um, it just pisses me off. Anyway, so, uh, and another test he did, he, he plugged into this machine into the wall and he put these two electrodes down in the water. 
One was copper, the other one was aluminum. And you know what happens when you run current through water with two, two uh, just similar metal tubes, you're going to produce hydrogen. So this thing starts bubbling away and you get this green film on top. Well, that's from the friggin' copper rod in the water. I mean, I kept, I looked at my wife when he looked away and I just shook my head and just said, bullshit. And, but she was falling for it as soon as he said that it would make your kids act, oh, all these friggin' mental problems and all this bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Now, you should have a good filtration system. Have your water check once a year, I agree. Um, and if you have problems, you should take care of it, like I'm going to have to now, because I'm going to go get it tested um, in town by professionals. They can actually measure the level. I'm not going to take his word for it, because not at any point did he tell me what it had in it. He just said it had all this crap in it, showed us a, pay, a book full of four pages of stuff that's in your water. Well, he didn't prove any of that. It just doesn't make any sense. And the fact that he was pressuring us to sign now, that's a big red flag. Never, never, never. If this was such a good deal, he would have given me his business card. He would have left a bunch of information, which he did none of. Okay, here's my second point. We're on a weeping system here. Um, reverse osmosis system is not uh, really good on that. Um, and I'll show you why. Or I'll just tell you why. Well, I can show you too. Um, let's sit down here. I did a little bit of research when he left. Um, for every five gallons of water that this thing produces, I'll just show it to you. Disadvantages of reverse osmosis system. You can pause the screen and read that. Right there. For every five gallons of treated water per day, this thing is going to discharge into your septic tank 40 to 90 gallons of waste water. Now, I don't think my, my septic tank is going to handle that with us taking showers and baths and laundry. Um, so, and this guy, I told him right out the back, I don't have a lot of money. He was trying to sign us. Then he was gonna give us a deal on a water system for $40 a month from 100 without the water softener. But uh, anyway guys, just be warned. There's always somebody out there trying to take advantage of you, take your money. If you can do stuff yourself, that's the way to do it. Save yourself a lot of money because they're just padding their pockets and they're getting in and getting out. He said this thing comes with a 25 year warranty. Then he tells you, well, you have to pay for the filters. So they're gonna come in your house once a year to check your water. Well, I can take my water down to the health clinic, uh, the health unit in town here and get it checked for free. Well, these guys are gonna come and do that for free, but they're gonna tell you you need filters. There's three filters in that thing. They're 40, he said they're $40 a piece. And I'm sure if I look online, I could find them cheaper. Anyway, so I'm a little bit relieved that I uh, saved us a lot of money by not signing anything. And uh, just a warning, don't even bother with those scratch tags. I mean, we did get the shower head. Now, this is probably like a $10 friggin' thing. He was pissed when he left here. I tell you, he probably had to pay for this out of his pocket. Now, is it any good? I don't know. It's uh, <laughs> Look at this. It's plastic. I bet you it cost him 10 bucks for this. It's a chlorine removal system. Guess what's going to happen with my hard water when I put this thing on? <laughs> Comes with all this. Oh, look, it even gives you replacement beads. Oh, isn't that nice? He was so generous. Look, what's that shit going to do? I put that in my slingshot, maybe. God, guys, you got to be very careful nowadays. I don't care if you're talking to a mechanic, car salesman, shoe salesman. Get educated first before you make a decision on anything. And if they pressure you and tell you, no, you have to do it now to save the money. Oh, yeah, bullshit. Don't do it. Um, you always have to do research. I don't care. I like to compare prices and that. If it takes me a month to fix this thing, oh, well. You know, anyway, that's my rant for today. I hope this helps anybody out. Um, I'm in Ontario, Canada, so if you see these guys coming around and the fact that they didn't leave a business card or even give me a business card when he came in the door it tells you something this could be a whole scam they could I never got into the financial part but he could say oh I want five hundred dollars up front and then we'll do it right right Carly right where's the squirrel where's squirrel doggy Oof. how old are you dog still a puppy anyway guys that's my rant please subscribe rate and comment because it helps me a lot and I'm not sure what I'm gonna put this under anyway thanks a lot talk to you guys later